Hey guys and welcome back to Resident Evil Let's Play. You're here with Tony. Uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake Let's Play. You're here with Tony Tony. And in the last part, we'd uh, just met up with Ada again. Uh, we went through the gunshot. Oh, heartbreaking cutscene. Really heartbreaking. Uh, but we also blew the tyrant up. So um, hopefully, no more of that guy. But yeah, we'd, we'd just come down into the sewers. Ada and Leon are finally working together. Thank God for that. They, they just really need to. Again? It's not too late to turn back. No chance. You're stuck with me to the end. Yeah, I think they just need to get a hotel room for a couple of nights, relieve some of that tension that's building up between them. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. You sure this is the right way? Unfortunately. Wait there. Well, I'll get a boss hard. And this is literally like a, one of the bolder dashes from Resident 4. Yeah, which if you haven't played, um, I, don't know, I don't know why you wouldn't have played it. But yeah, you're playing with Leon on that as well. Oh god! I ran into it! <laughs> I can't believe I ran into it. That's twice. That's twice that I've died now. The worst thing is, I've I've already done this part because uh, I did record it, but the, the footage got corrupt. I don't think we need to see that again, do we? I can't believe I just ran straight into its mouth. Oh, he almost got me then as well. I think this is a really easy part as well once you know what you're doing. But yeah, I have already uh, done this. There is a Mr. Raccoon right here. You on that, you overgrown son of a bitch. Obviously, it, it auto saves when you, whenever you shoot one. So. Yeah, that's the alligator boss fight. I, I don't know how I died. That time it didn't annoy me though, because I know that was my own fault. <laughs> Just get up here. But yeah, uh, Leon is is my favourite character in the in the whole series. People into monsters, not reptiles. Fair point. I'm just impressed you made it in one piece. Yeah, the Ada and Leon, they've got a really, uh, really awkward of a uh, will they won't they relationship. Even though in the original, Ada actually tells Leon she she loves him if you play the canon scenario. And in this one, she kisses him. And then they meet in four. Umbrella sells monsters like that to who? Our military? Somebody else's? They don't sell the monsters. They sell the viruses that make them. And Annette is who makes the viruses. Scary as that alligator was, Annette is far more dangerous. So yeah. Uh, yeah, then, then uh, Leon and Ada meet back up in Resident Evil 4. And Leon's rescuing the president's daughter. And then there's six. So pretty much every game that Leon's in. Identify yourself. Annette Birkin. She's who we're looking for? Not much time. Need to dispose of it. We're here for the G-Virus. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. I'm warning you, Doctor. Oh, yeah? Hey! Stop! Expect that 
I'm a scientist. Uh, Leon. Forget about me. Just go. Stop her before she gets away. Oh. Outside the facility, in pursuit of the net. If it's not on her, it must be in the nest. Once it's in hand, I'll call for a stretch. What is Ida up to, I wonder? You can run but the net. Excuse me. So yeah, now we're playing as Ada. Uh, it is just one segment and it's quite a short one. But uh, she gets this. An EMF visualizer. Which is basically, uh, it, it's like an electric uh, pulse. But uh, it does the opposite. It speeds them up to destroy them instead of just shuts, short circuits them. Basically, do any anything to do with an electrical or battery-operated thing, I imagine. Because yeah, uh, yeah, obviously you have to turn on the the switch with it, and then you just speed it up, and it destroys itself. But you can also change uh, the polarity of the current. Which I'm guessing is just another switch. But for some reason they're hidden in the walls in this. September inspection, week one. I already put in a request last week, but we absolutely must have a replacement ID wristband ASAP. We need one to gain access to certain areas of the main facility. In other words, me and my crew can't get to the places we need to, to in order to do our job right, right now. So I don't want to hear any more accusing us of slacking off. Just go through this door, and uh, there is a trophy for either not killing a single uh, enemy here, or or using a bullet. I'm not sure which one it, what it was without looking, but uh, I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to be uh, taking this guy's leg off at least, because he's a pain in the ass. Leg off as well. Just run past her. <laughs> oh, God! I didn't see that other zombie. Oh, you can piss off. No! Come on! I'm not having this again. I swear this game loves to just make me look really bad at games. <laughs> I didn't die there because of that, that third zombie as well. And not only that, the big guy's not dead. I didn't turn it on.
that's annoying. Because now I'm moving really slowly as well. Right, September inspection, week two. With the new wristband that just arrived, we can finally begin our survey of the demolition area. As to the report from the other day about the incinerator, it's nothing really, probably just a large piece of leftover trash. I'll go take a look myself after I wrap up this report. So the, the guy with the wristband is in the incinerator. So yeah, the tyrant's not dead, as you uh, could clearly see just, just a moment ago. Uh, and there is another Mr. Raccoon just, just, just here. Which I also uh, got. Bravo. Gonna burn you alive now. You'll never get your filthy hands on the G. I'm not the only one after it. You realize that. Then you won't die alone. So yeah, there's a it's kind of a puzzle here of you basically just gotta stop this from working. Quite an easy puzzle. Luckily, we're at the end of the, uh, the segment already. Because I could not be bothered with uh, running like this forever. I should have used that flash grenade. What do I think of these after it's already happened? Enough with this cat and mouse game. The game is over. You lost. Tell me, is your husband still alive? Or did you kill him so you could take credit for G? Interesting theory. Ada? Damn it. Okay. Now we take control back of the uh, indestructible Leon Kennedy. Ada? Where are you? Well, I suppose this was before he, he uh, became a roundhouse kicking badass. <laughs> or suplexing badass. Oh, there's a uh, hunk of bullets here. Which I remember picking up yesterday. That's a pleasant smell. 
Well, you're little, you are in the sewers, Leo. <laughs> it's not going to smell of the roses, is it? Oh, yeah, shotgun shells in here. Wow, <laughs> that was just bad. Oh, I'm gonna say he's dead. All, the, all these agents from Umbrella. Let's go away, I'm just gonna... God damn it. How many bullets does it take to take off a leg? That many. Uh, and I'm gonna want to kill that guy too. I tell if that guy's dead or or not. <laughs> oh, well, I shot him an, an extra time, and he didn't move, so I'm going to say he's dead. Just zombies. <clears throat> oh, there's nothing in here. Blue hole there, herb there, but we'll be coming back. And I wonder if you saw that. I'll take this. Oh, now this is a, a special kind of monster that's glitching out here. It's, it's got a bit of trash on it. Um, it's a, a G mutant adult, which are basically what you find in the sewers. And the only way I know to get past them is by using the bullet by doing this. Activating them and then just running past, the and then getting up here because they can't hit you if you're unless you're in the water apparently, or on the same level as them. Cable car. Interesting. Copy the emails to Umbrella HQ. Director Owens, there are alarms going off all over Nest. I don't know what's going on, but I can hear gunfire and I can't reach my section chief. We're trapped. Please send help ASAP. Director Owens, the situation here is dire. Nest has been contaminated with the virus. It's unbelievable. The failsafe system didn't activate at all. Is this the work of, an of outsiders? I can't imagine who else it could be, but why? Mayor and Kim are dead. I can't stop coughing. Why won't you answer me? Director Rowans, you. It was you, Ola. Right. 
and I've already done this. I'm surprised I remembered it anyway because you don't actually find out the, the code for this until you're pretty much done with, uh, with the sewers ready to move on. But hey, I remembered it. Now we know where Ada is. We know how to get to her. Sewers Company pamphlet. Greetings from the CEO. Thank you for your interest in Knight's Construction Company. Over the past 20 years, we have had the honor to work on the sewer systems of some of our country's greatest cities, while never losing sight of our two core principles of playfulness and superior industrial design. At KCC, we believe that just because our work is subterranean doesn't mean our designs have to be subpar. More refined than a queen, more polished than a knight, and as pleasant as a pawn. Our work is, to sh is sure to bring great victory to everyone involved. May we all meet on the field someday. Knights Construction Company CEO. World Chess Alliance Honorary Member. Raccoon Chess Club Honorary Advisor. Fisher Chess Lovers Guild Honorary Director. R.B. Fisher. So yeah, that's basically a pamphlet of uh, what you're going to be facing. Well, the puzzle you're going to be uh, using. Wow, that guy was uh, distraught. <laughs> I'll bet those rats spread it. But yeah, um, uh, this is the, the chess puzzle, which is also in the original game, but a lot less complex, believe it or not. The original was uh, was easier than than the remake. Unlocking the U area door. I lost the thing that tells you how to unlock the door to the U area during that last mad dash of a transfer. I know you have to stick one plug into into each terminal but if anyone remembers which plug goes where please be a pal and share by posting that info on the board which is uh, this but uh, we don't need it right now because we only have two plugs and they're only because they're already in there uh, I'll take this map just in case uh, I don't think I really need it uh, I do need to pull this switch however First we go left to get this red herb and tea handle. Is it just here? And we'll go get this uh, this note. Delivery receipt. The items below have been delivered to the location specified in your order. One heat resistant safe. The combination is written on the side of the safe in chalk. Please remember to erase it before you use the safe. And that safe is, if you can see where that dead zombie is, you can see the safe which is there. <laughs> and it's, uh, what was it? I did it yesterday. I think it was 2.12.8. I'm not sure. It was. So two, twelve, and it gives you the most important upgrade to any gun: the shotgun. I'll just stick it on there. And uh, a little trick here is to hug this wall to get this blue herb. If you want the blue herb, I don't know why you wouldn't though. 
and then on the way back just hug it again and it stops that uh, that zombie from activating I thought my crosshairs were blue then <laughs> annoying because yesterday like, I got a critical on that guy. Kind of like that but it happened in the second shot not the fifth. <laughs> but that's the way the game works. I think he's dead. <laughs> I'll uh, pull this. Jump down here because there is a grenade here. And grenades are going to be my best friend in this part of the game. Uh, this is actually my least favourite part of the game. Purely for one section. And uh, we'll be getting there soon. Uh, please get a critical hit. Well, I didn't get a critical hit <laughs> in any of those shots. Oh, I think he's dead now. Oh, I forgot to use the uh, the iron box. Uh, I don't know how to do that. There's a trick where you... Oh. You probably aim. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, there's a trick to run up and down stairs a lot quicker, which is the case with most Resident Evil games. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to be using uh, grenades. I don't know why I put my handgun bullets back though. Uh, so I'll pick up two of those. Uh, I'll get my handgun bullet back. I've got a, a blue herb and a green herb. So yeah, I want all of those. Um, but anyway, that is all I have time for today, guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next part. See ya!